All right, six million Americans losing their jobs in the past year and a half. The government coughing up 50 billion taxpayer dollars to save 50,000 of them over at General Motors. How do you explain that math to millions out of work? Congressman Thaddeus Vicotta, a Republican of Michigan, he supported the GM bailout. Congressman, that's what you're going to start hearing pretty soon, right? These people saying, what about me? Well, Neil, the answer to that is how does the demise of Chrysler and GM through liquidation through hundreds of thousands of people throughout the manufacturing base of the United States, including dealers, small business manufacturers, and others going into the unemployment line do anything to speed up the economy's recovery or to bring anyone back to work. But 30 years ago, we had 619,000 workers at GM, right? When this whole debate started about should we rescue GM, should we not, it had over 200,000. We're down to a little bit more than 50,000. Um, that's overkill, don't you think? Well, it just shows the pains to which the auto companies have been restructuring in conjunction with United Auto Workers. Obviously, we had hoped to avoid today, but we are where we are. Now, when you look but at shouldn't it, shouldn't we have again, gone that way in the beginning, Congressman? I mean, if we're going to look at bankruptcy, and that was a taboo word back then, but now it's accepted. Well, it's a reality that's happened, Neil. But again, I'm telling you that the people in my district who threw this bankruptcy, both union members and white collar, who lost their jobs today, including 164 at my Livonia powertrain assembly plant, and the many more that are going to lose their jobs through their dealerships and the small manufacturers, wished we could have avoided bankruptcy as well. And I'd like to point out that in terms of the overarching argument that somehow just GM and Chrysler would have gone under, it would have been fine. You had the transplants like Toyota saying that the survival of Chrysler and GM was critical to the supply base of both transplants and domestic companies. Um, we had a car dealer here representing Chrysler, as it turns out, who wonders whether there might be a connection between the political label of the car dealer and who was shut down, saying roughly 80% have been Republican. Now, the math jibes with the fact that almost 80 percent are Republican in general. Uh, but what do you make of that? I think the dealers deserve an answer, but I'm not ready to sign on to a conspiracy theory. In fact, with the GM plant closures, what you saw was the Willow Run Assembly plant in Chairman John Dingell's district being closed. This was the plant, Neil, that produced the Liberty Bombers right, that helped right. win World War II. He is a staunch Democrat. He's the longest serving. So you don't think there's any Congress. connection? The reason why I ask you, Congressman, is that uh, when I talked to Fritz Henderson about this, uh, uh, he said he's free to close other future plans and make these kind of changes without a yay or nay from the White House or this auto task force. Is he free to do that? Well, Mr. Henderson's an honest man. The question will be whether circumstances change or not. As you know, Neil, the big question hanging over this is will the government repeat the mistakes the car companies made in the 60s and 70s by trying to determine what types of cars would be dictated to consumers as opposed to responding to consumer demand? But what I asked him, though, I'm sorry, sir, but what I asked him is if, if, if those cars aren't selling and you have to go back to President Obama, I'm paraphrasing here, and say, look, this, this, just, this turkey ain't flying, um, he says he's within his power to do that, and the president really can be upset but can't change that. Do you buy that? Well, I hope that that's accurate, because the worst thing, again, Neil, we can have is a government trying to get into the determination of what cars consumers can and cannot buy, as opposed to allowing the companies to meet the consumer demand that arises. But it's doing that anyway, right? At this point in time, that remains to be seen, and I would All stipulate right. to you that that is the concern. Congressman. Always a pleasure having you. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Neil.